No, just my freaking luck. Hi there, welcome back to my channel. This is Nadea J, and today's video is going to be a Black Friday haul and also the month of November because honestly, I have been waiting for a lot of my products to arrive and I'm still missing quite a few items, but I am sick and tired of waiting. I really want to get into some of these products and I'm really, really itching to show you guys. So, this is probably going to be part one of my Black Friday, month of November type of haul. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing what I got, then definitely keep on watching and let's jump right in. So I already have a video up showing these gift set items. They're actually not for me, they're gift sets for people and Revolution were kind enough to send this my way and I already have a video up showing these products. But I'm just gonna mention them because obviously I did get them in the month of November. I've got the Revolution candle set and this is the festive mini scented candle trio which looks like this. Definitely go and watch the video if you want to see the insides because I took everything out just to show. And then I've also got the Forever Flawless brush collection which I feel is great for anyone who's just starting in makeup or even um, advanced. I don't think it matters, you know, any skill level can use these brushes and you can do a full face using these brushes. So yeah, anyone who's into makeup can enjoy this. And then I've also got the Winter Glow Energize Collection, which is a skincare collection, which I feel is perfect for any skincare buff or anyone who really needs to get into skincare and you're trying to encourage them to do so. You can always gift them this and all of these products are affordable at the moment they are on sale so definitely snap them up so let's move on from there <laughs> worth saying that i did get quite a number of fragrances like i really did but if i included fragrances in this video it's going to run a couple of hours so we're not going to do fragrances i have unbox some of the fragrances and they're already in my collection but I do have a few key fragrances that I will show you so I did purchase the Fenty Beauty um, fragrance I know finally able to get my hands on it I did also purchase the Kayali um, Eden fragrance and I did purchase the Chloe love story fragrance which I've got here but the other two are yet to come so they will be in part two. So yeah, let's jump into what I've got in no particular order. <laughs> so first of all, let me know if you like this, if you like this background. I'm literally sat on the floor in my living room. I was going to do it all in my makeup room, but then I was like, I don't need to do that. I'm just gonna chill, put on some, you know, put on fire in the background. This is how I like to, Keep my living rooms nice and cozy i've got my little blanket you know but yeah i digress but let me know if you think this is cute because i think it's cute so the first item is from the perfect okay 10 guesses if you know what it is because i swore i was not gonna get this palette because the thing with me there are some makeup items that really piqued my interest this one really piqued my interest but the fact that I've seen Be Perfect palettes go down in sale really low, I was so reluctant to fork out that amount of money on it because I've seen it, like I've seen some of the Be Perfect palettes go down to about 23 quid or 21 pounds. And I just was not feeling the resale price, like 34 95 or 39 95 or something like that. I just wasn't feeling it. But for Black Friday, they did an offer, and I think I got this for, I don't know, 20 something pounds. Don't quote me, but I know I got it for a good price. And it is the Be Perfect Antidote Palette. Don't mind how it looks, you know me and packaging. I've already been in this just to make sure that it didn't break. Um, and it's the third collaboration with State. Is this third? This is the third, I don't know. It's the third, I think. Anyway, it's a collaboration with Stacey Marie. I bet you're tired of seeing this palette. Like you would have seen it all over YouTube throughout the autumn months. Like you'd have, you'd have seen it a lot. So this is what it looks like. I am actually very, very excited to get my hands on it. Let me know if you guys want to see a swatch party. You know, we can swatch this. I can swatch some other palettes that are 
similar in color story and compare colors. So if you don't have it in your collection, there are colors that you can use in your collection and um, without having to go and buy this. So I could do that. Let me know if you're interested in seeing that. And this is what it looks like on the inside. You've got this film, which, yep, yeah, you've got a film. It says Be Perfect Carnival. Can't see it, but yeah. And then this is the color story of the palette. You can see my blanket. <laughs> this is the color story of the of the palette. You've got the greens, you've got the pink shades, you've got the, you know, the orange shades. It's so pretty. It literally is pretty. Um, I'm gonna not swatch anything in this video because I feel like it's gonna take forever. But definitely let me know if you want me to do a swatch party. I can definitely compare this to some palettes I have in my collection. Because now that I've got it and I'm looking at it, I can see some similarities in some of the other palettes that I have from other brands. But I'm not going to take away how beautiful this palette is. This palette is beautiful. It's one of those palettes that is like a one-stop shop. And I'm not even mad that there is no black in this palette because I feel like right now I've got a, a single black eyeshadow. So I'm pretty okay when it comes to needing black in a palette. Um, this shade in the corner is called Mystic, but I'm not even calling that a black. I feel like it's a very, so it's this one. I feel like it's a very, 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 very dark green. That's what it looks like to me, but who knows? Maybe when I swatch it, it will look different. It looks like a dark green or a dark brown rather than a black. You let me know what you think it looks like, but that is what the palette, oh, it's so beautiful. That's what the palette looks like. And I'm very, very excited to finally get my hands on it. I feel like so many looks are going to come out of this because it's my type of color story. You've got greens, you've got neutrals. The colors that I, I particularly like to use, like, I know I like to say I'm not a neutral girl, but to be honest, I really do love my neutral looks as well. So yeah, I'm very, very excited. Let's do the fragrance. So this literally came like 10 minutes ago, and I purchased this from uh, Crazy... Well, where is it from? There's no receipt in here. I can't remember, but I will link it um, in the... Yeah, I will link it <laughs> if you're looking for it. Well, I'll link somewhere where you can purchase it for a good price. So this is Chloe Love Story. This is the packaging. I haven't even opened it, so I'm going to open it. And I want to say shout out to Clarice Lifestyle for putting me on this because she messaged me and she was like, girl, girl. <laughs> You need this in your life. And to be fair, the Chloe Love Story isn't the one that I particularly wanted. I really wanted the Chloe Nomad because I have a little sample of the Chloe Nomad and I knew immediately that I wanted that fragrance when I smelt it. But then when she said Chloe Love Story, and I know a lot of people here on YouTube love Chloe Love Story, I was like, okay. And for that price, it was insane. So. The packaging of this is absolutely beautiful. So literally a box, take that off and then you've got the beautiful fragrance sitting in there. And there's a little card. Is it a scent card? No, it's not. It just tells you how to use it. So basically this looks like a little, doesn't it look like a cute little handbag? Cute little handbag. And then you take off the cap. I'm going to do a first impression of this because I can't help myself. When it comes to fragrances, I'm wearing a fragrance today. So I'm going to have to spray it on the, uh, the sheet. Oh, is he coming? Oh. What's going on? What is going on? Yeah, I'm pointing it in the right way. Let's try that again, because if not, if this doesn't spray, what is going on? No, just my freaking luck. 
Hang on. There's nothing more annoying than the atomizer not working. I cannot. Like, it... No. What a joke. It is such a beautiful package as well, but... What's the point if I can't get the juice out? Okay, I'm so disappointed. All right, let's just pop that back in there because I'm just, yeah, it's going back. There's no point. Like, what's the point? What's the point if I can't get it out of the, uh, yeah. I'm, that's, that's, that's disappointing. Um, Maybe right the thing. So I purchased a few bags from this black owned company. So this is a company I found on TikTok. If you're not following me on TikTok, by the way, you need to because a lot happens on there. So I found this company on TikTok. They're UK based and the name of the company is called Yetom or Jetom. Um, and they sell bags and her bags are so beautiful, right up my alley, perfect, my aesthetic type of thing that I love. So I've pretty much purchased all the colors in this particular style. Um, except for this one, which was the white. So I got this white cute bag. You can't tell me this isn't the most adorable bag ever. And I believe this style is called Belle. It comes in black, comes in brown, like a chocolate brown color. It comes in sage and then it comes in this white. And white was the only one I didn't have. And it's like an interwoven type of design gold hardware here here comes with a handle as well gold hardware nice stuffing comes with a zip on the inside to store your stuff and as i said it comes with a with a handle which i will show you so cute little handle a little bit of gold detailing on it and you can wear it with or without the handle, just tuck it in. But this is basically it. And this bag retails for £35. They were doing so, a, a Black Friday offer, so I did get this particular color in uh, a little bit cheaper than the others. The others I paid full price. I know I always say it, that I never pay full price for anything, but there are some times, especially when it's for like a, a small business and trying to support a business, if they don't have a discount going at the time, it really doesn't deter me from wanting to support them because obviously for me to be checking them out, then I'm really interested in what they've, you know, they've got on offer. So yeah, it didn't, didn't really bother me. I'm trying to put the strap back in case if you're wondering what I am doing. <laughs> yeah, it didn't really bother me that it was full price. But this one, I did get a little bit of a, a discount on. So yeah, definitely check them out. Beautiful bag, came easy, came quickly, no problems at all, no stains, nothing. And it's such a beautiful white bag. So I'm quite excited for this one. I have, right, so story time. <laughs> I purchased um, a lot of products from, not a lot, well, I purchased quite a, a number of products from the Pat McGrath sale on Black Friday itself. And I am still back and forth with Pat McGrath to um, get my products. So I'm still waiting. So I ordered the, I ordered two eyeshadow palettes and a lips. No, I ordered three eyeshadow palettes and a lipstick. And when it arrived, I only had one eyeshadow palette and a lipstick. Got in contact with them. One of the eyeshadow palettes obviously has sold out. So I had to wait. Repurchased that one when it came back in store. And then um, the one that was missing from, from the previous order, they reshipped that anyway, long story short. I still don't have those palettes. I only have the one that came. <sighs> I know, it's, it's honestly Black Friday. You would think that companies right now would like prep themselves, especially when they're dishing out these offers. Like don't dish out the offers if you can't, yeah, just don't let me whinge because sometimes when I whinge, it just goes nowhere. So this is the Pat McGrath Mothership, um, trying to know my new, new, Roman numerals. This is Mothership 4 Decadence Eyeshadow Palette. So this is Mothership 4 Decadence Eyeshadow Palette, which looks like this. I believe this is the all shimmer, all shimmer type of eyeshadow, I believe. 
So I do like the packaging of this one. I am trying to get all of the Mothership palettes at some point. The one that I bought uh, that went out of stock was the Utopian. So hopefully that should come. And then I got the Christmas palette, which is the, I, I don't know what it's called, but yeah, the Christmas palette. So this is this one. And when you open it, you've got these beautiful shades. I'm sure you are familiar with what these look like, but they're very, very beautiful. They're all shimmer. They're all shimmer shades. I love the Pat McGrath formula. I do love the quality of her eyeshadows. So I am very, very excited to continue purchasing these because they are really, really good quality. There are no mattes in this palette. They're all full on shimmers, but they're so beautiful. You've got some blues in there. You've got gold. You've got red. You've got darker colors. You've got silver. Colors that I personally use that I love. So yeah, definitely let me know if you want me to do a swatch party. As a matter of fact, I might do a swatch party of all of my new um, eyeshadow palettes because I do have quite a number. But yeah, I'm very excited to try this. Really, really disappointing that I couldn't get all of the eyeshadow palettes at once. But I am trying to work with <laughs> the Pat McGrath customer service and stay positive and just... Be patient, but honestly, sometimes it can be very disappointing. There you go. So the lipstick that I got is the, what is this? This is the, right, so this is the Rouge Alivre. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I could have sworn there is a name, but, oh yeah, there it is. This is the Matte Trans 200 Mac Enemy um, lipstick, and I love. Ten guesses what color this is. Like, I love the Pat McGrath bullets to start with. I feel like they're classy, they're unique, they're weighty, really good quality, and it is this gorgeous color. This gorgeousness of a color very perfect for the season a nice bumpy burgundy type of color you know the kind of colors that i love so yeah this one and the packaging of this as well is so so cute i was so excited so excited to get this so yeah these two from pat mcgrath hopefully in part two we'll be able to unbox the other stuff so from ofra um, they recently came out with some highlighters for the season. Very, very exciting. I love Ofra highlighters. If you've seen my highlighter, I'm not sure which video is going to go up. If this one or the highlighter collection. So I do have a highlighter collection video going up. I did show these. I am going to do a swap. I might do it in this video, actually. Swatching these highlights. No, I'll do it separately. I'm so confused. Anyway. I'll do them separately, but I will do a swatch video. It might be just a quick video showing you what they swatch like. But this is basically five highlighters in five days. They started releasing them from the 6th of December, and the last one came out on the 10th of December. So this one is called Gingerhead, which is the darkest one, I believe. Yep. And I love the Ofra packaging. It's just a clean white packaging which i appreciate and this is it they all come with a mirror and that is the gorgeousness oh it's so pretty i'm definitely gonna sit down and do a swatch video because i feel like we really need to go into this i need to compare them to some of the other highlighters i have in my collection and then this one you know when it comes to packaging i am so rough this one's called pumpkin pie and pumpkin pie is a golden sunset orange which is exactly that look at that look at how it just catches the light it's so beautiful so so beautiful so that's this one and then the next one is called gumdrop and gumdrop is a bright yellow gold which is bright but still like a pale yellow 
compared to um, Trophy Wife, is quite pale. So I don't know if this is going to work for me, but until you swatch, you really don't know how it's going to perform or how it's going to look. So these highlighters could be dual chrome for all I know. And then Peppermint is a soft, warm pink highlighter. It looks like that as well. So stinking cute. I love the Ofra um, packaging. If you didn't know, I do have a discount code with Ofra, which is Midea J. So it will give you some money off your order. And then the last one is Sugar Cookie, which is a golden peach champagne color, which looks like that. Very, very cute. So yeah, we'll definitely be doing a video. Definitely sound off if you're interested in that and I can compare it to some of the other highlighters from Ofra that I have existing in my collection. But yeah, I've got five new highlighters from Ofra and I'm so excited, so excited to try them. Thank you so much to the Ofra team for sending these my way. Guesses. Who remembers this hair? Who remembers this hair? Sound off below if you remember this hair from any of my videos. I literally found it yesterday. I was like, right, I'm going to revamp this hair. So I put in some products and it's holding the curl. It's not looking dry. It's looking really good. Quite like it. So yeah, sound off if you know where this hair is from. Anyway, I did purchase some tonic, um, face tonics from, where did I get this one from? From Look Fantastic. They were doing a really, really good offer. So I do have four of these. One is already in use because I needed it. So I've got the usual stuff. So the Pixie Beauty um, Glow Tonic. So it comes in this one. And this is 250 ml. And I got four of them. I think they were doing like two for a price. And it was really, really good. Like it was a really, really good discount. So I purchased four of those. Nothing extra from there. Just we purchasing what I had. I also purchased a micellar water. Again, Garnier micellar water. I've always used this. I absolutely love it. It's, so yeah, definitely had to get that. And then the Gerard Cosmetics Makeup Removing Balm. I absolutely love this. This one is in peach. And this is what I used to break down my makeup and everything. So yeah, just, just repurchasing what I originally had that I've run out of. So yeah. And I'm holding my trigger. Like, it's real life. This is real life. This is how we stay. Let's just move, move yeah. on really, really quickly. So next up from Ren Clean Skincare. They sent this ages ago, like at the start of November, I believe. But I was keeping it to do a, yeah, to do this. Anyway, this is their Ever Calm collection. You've got Gentle Cleansing Milk, which soothes and protects. I know that a percentage of this was going to somewhere. I don't have the flyer anymore, but this was a really good cause, I believe. Um, so yeah, this is good for sensitive skin. And then uh, I've also got the Ultra Comforting Rescue Mask. I have used this range before and I do like it. I think one of my favorite products is the Overnight, Overnight uh, Moisture Cream or something like that which I featured in my empties video, like my recent skincare and empties video. So definitely check that out if you're interested. And then this one is a redness relief serum. So I don't get any redness. So I'm probably going to pop this. Um, it says it helps to restore stressed skin, redness prone skin. So I'm probably going to pop this in a giveaway because I really don't suffer from that. And I don't want to use products just for the sake of it. And then this one is the global protection day cream. So that I can use. I wonder if it has SPF in it. It says nourishes and combats skin discomfort. It doesn't say if it's got SPF, but doesn't mean that it doesn't have, but this is what it is. Yeah, and those are the products here. Yeah, that's that. That's it. So I am gonna pop this one in a giveaway. This is the Redness Relief Serum, um, and then yeah, the other skincare products we're going to try. So thank you so much to Ren uh, Ren Clean Skincare. It's such a tongue tie. Ren Clean Skincare. I do appreciate this. I love their products. 
definitely check them out and i'm excited to incorporate these in a like sit down chit chat skincare type of video so yeah love it next up i've got products from a couple of places so the first is a demologica conditioning body wash so this is something that they sent to me i don't think i've got a card or a flyer or anything for this particular product no i don't so this is this has eucalyptus it has lavender i think it's just what it says it's a body wash it cleanses conditions invigorates so quite excited to use this let's open it and see it'll definitely be like their standard white and gray type of pack Ooh, i was just saying it would be like their white and gray but this is like a clear bottle so i'm quite excited to try this actually haven't tried any body care stuff from Demologica, so this is quite exciting. Thank you so much, Demologica, for sending that my way. Um, getting drowning in boxes, <laughs> and then I purchased this from Beauty Bay. So normally, um, another story time. Normally, when Beauty Bay does Black Friday, they do Black Friday, but for some reason this year, I felt like the Black Friday was a little bit reserved. So I'm kind of hoping that um, Boxing Day is going to be insane. I usually pick up a lot of my palettes during Black Friday from Beauty Bay. But this year, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling a lot of it. So I only picked up a very few items. So the first is the Ordinary Direct Acid Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. Now, I picked this up because I saw on TikTok tiktok is a devil i swear i saw on tiktok somebody used this to lighten their underarm area so if you get a lot of hyperpigmentation underneath your like your armpit area then you might want to try this or you might want to wait for me to feedback as to how well obviously how well this works but basically she um continuously used it to clean her underarm and then gradually it got lighter and lighter again i want to try it so i did purchase it comes with a nozzle as well inside the package so i i mean it's a turning solution so it's not far off it sounds possible but i need to see for myself so i did get this and then i also purchased um a power powder puff so this is the lh cosmetics powder puff the ones that go right underneath your eye in a triangle i'm trying to get it out so yeah it's like ooh, it's very soft so basically like that so it would really get underneath the eye when you're trying to you know trying to apply your powder so again, is it a gimmick? I don't know. I got it to try, <laughs> you know, I wanted to give it a go. And plus I was looking for a powder puff anyway. And then I purchased two palettes from the Disney color range. So you guys know already have the original three that came out. We have Jungle Book, you've got Alice in Wonderland and you've got Bambi. No, not Bambi. What's the last one? Jungle Book, Alice in Wonderland. Why doesn't I don't know. I don't know. Well, yeah. It came in a set. So I wanted to purchase more of them. Um so I got Bambi, which looks like this, which is a I think it's Bambi. Why do I think I don't know? It's confusing me now. Um does it matter? It probably doesn't anyway. So this is what this one looks like. Now, you're gonna tell me that I have no business purchasing this, and you know what, you're right. But you know what we're not gonna do? We're not gonna judge. That's that's what we're not gonna do. We're not gonna judge. I purchased this because I wanted to keep everything. I wanted the full collection, but I don't think I even purchased the full collection, but it doesn't matter. These colors are gorgeous. When they came, I was like, yes, honey, so, so pretty look at the purple look at the light blue look at that brown full matte palette just like the others so that is bambi and definitely i definitely need to do like a swatch party with you guys because it's so exciting 
and then got Alice in Wonderland 1951. This one I haven't opened, so let's give it an open. I'm trying to get this done before my son comes home. Is that possible? I don't know. Will we see? Oh, this one's pretty. Very bright colors, greens, blue. That pink is gorgeous on camera and that lime color, absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I just felt the need to have them. Plus they were so cheap and the quality of this is really good. If you're familiar with Beauty Bay palettes, you know that they make really, really good eyeshadow palettes. Definitely worth checking because they're so affordable. And then I just got a backup of my Revolution Pro CC powder. I use this in almost all my videos. You would have seen me use it. No brainer. It's just a repurchase of my favorite powder. I think I saved the biggest for last. P. Louise. P. Louise had a Black Friday sale and she's still having like discounts and stuff over like the days of Christmas. She's got like a launch of a product and it's discounted, but this was a Black Friday discount. And when I say P. Louise is extra, trust me, this babe is extra. So I purchased two products, two products. And it came in this big, this box is bigger than my head. Came in this big box. And actually, no, I lie. I purchased three products because I forgot that I purchased them. Anyway. Okay, so the first one is uh, all the signs. What? All I see is signs, okay? And it looks like this. And I blame um, Makeup for Days, Tolu. You guys already hear me blaming her for a lot of my purchases, but I blame her because I have no business purchasing this palette. As much as I love P. Louise, there are just some palettes that I'm like, I've got tons of those colors in my collection but one thing you can't deny when it comes to p louise is packaging p louise will give you packaging for days like literally packaging look at that look at that tell me that isn't one of the most beautiful things you've ever seen and look at the class it's very much sea captain orientated i love it You've got tickets in there and it's plastic, so it's not going to break and that kind of thing. Got some script at the back, which I love. But then I feel like the more she produces these types of palettes, the more she improves them. So now the mirror on this one is there. Oh, you can see that. And then at the bottom, I just don't want to blind you. At the bottom, it says P. Louise, but then the shadows look at the shadows you guys those are some of the most beautiful eyeshadows that i have and i said i sure i've got these colors a million times over i'm not disputing but i don't have it in the peewee's packaging that's what i'm saying so this was one of the reasons why i was itching to do this haul because i really want to get my brush in there it also comes with a protective film that just says signs. Because you know, P. Louise is about the details. So no one does detailing and palettes like she does. Like, she's so extra and I live for her extraness. So I got that palette. Let's try and shove it back in the box. Let's keep it all organized and cute as much as possible ah sorry got one of her smaller palettes and this is one of the love tapes palettes i got the most weird looking one because i don't feel like i have this color story enough in my collection the only palette that comes to mind is the natasha denona glam palette and so this one is called Going Solo, literally looks like a tape. I know this generation will probably, what is a tape? What's a tape? This is what a tape looks like. You know, a cassette tape, you put it in your player and you jam to music or use it to record music. Sound off below if you're like 
from my generation but yeah <laughs> this is what the packaging looks like very cute it does come with a mirror but you wouldn't really use that i mean you can if you want but um yeah comes with a mirror um and then comes with these oh these are some of the most beautiful colors i know neutrals grays these are grays we've got black we've got silver that shimmer shadow is so beautiful oh it's so beautiful just one more time to see it because it's so nice and it's so light as well some script at the back typical p louise style so yeah i definitely want to get my finger in this and swatch away and then also in the packaging is this little paper it says thank you for your order and some reviews and all of that good stuff which i appreciate like look at that say hello to your favorite new brand why would you not want to purchase from her the experience is absolutely fantastic but the piazza resistance is the uh palette that she produced for black friday so this is the black friday eyeshadow palette again i blame makeup for days tolu definitely check her out she is on youtube as well she does collection videos and hauls from especially revolution but she's been like she's been showing up with the collection videos and hauls and stuff like that so definitely check her the channel out i will link it below but then when you open this you've got a flyer that they created for black friday so and then inside we've got an eyeshadow palette okay so this can be a keepsake box because i think it's so so cute and so different and basically they produced it for black friday so this is pretty cute but then the eyeshadow palette itself it comes in its own box and it's called watch the queen conquer and that's what it looks like and this is a two-sided eyeshadow palette love the size as well very very different in comparison to her other eyeshadow palettes just to give you a little comparison in terms of size okay so you can see the difference in size in that one and then you get two layers of eyeshadow so the both sides come with a mirror as well. We've got a mirror. And then oh, I don't want to blind. I'm gonna blind you. How do I do this? Okay. And then you've got eyeshadows. So these are your pinks, purples, reds on this side, which is absolutely gorgeous. Definitely not my favorite side because I'm not really a pink person, but I can really get into those purples and those darker oranges and basically the top and the last roll. I could definitely get into that. And then on the other side, this is the one that won me over. I was like, yeah, give it to me. I'll have that. <laughs> I can use and will use every single color on the side so the greens the oranges the reddish pinks um yeah the reds orange neutral colors and greens absolutely gorgeous now i believe she she made these palettes i believe she made this palette for black friday so i'm not sure if it's still available if it's still available i will link it for you but if it's not, then it was just a Black Friday thing. I don't think you'll be able to get it. So if it is available, definitely grab it before it sells out. Because you know P. Louise, like, once it's gone, it's gone. Especially if it's like a campaign thing. And it's specifically for that time. So you don't want to miss out. P. Louise makes some of the most beautiful eyeshadows that I've got. So her quality is unmatched. The only reason why I probably don't use her, her palettes as much is just because of the size. But other than that, everything about her quality and experience is 100%. You guys know that I stand the bases. I absolutely love it. So definitely check it out. If it's still available, as I said, I will link it for you. 
it you guys so that is part one of my black friday november haul and pr i hope you enjoyed this video and i'm so excited to get the other stuff that i purchased and come back to you guys but yeah definitely sound off on two things one if you want me to do a swatch party comparing some of the eyeshadow palettes with anything else in my collection or if you want me to do swatches of the ofra highlighters or anything like that definitely let me know i will be happy to do swatch parties on comparison but yeah that's it if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe on your way out remember to like the video and share it if you like it will be really helpful i'm super appreciative if you've been watching my vlogmas series i hope you enjoyed this one and i will catch you in a future video remember god doesn't like ugly be nice on today on black lives always matter and i'll catch you soon bye